Well, it's Tech for Hire. I believe he's going to bore us again with his bullshit. Hey YouTube, Tech for Hire here. Uh, you know, I said I wasn't going to be doing any videos because it was too hot. Well, it's only going to get hotter. So I have to make a decision. I need to do brakes on my truck. Um, I have the parts, EBC uh, brake pads, and I just smacked myself in the face, um, and EBC rotors. Um, I lift that box up, but they're actually kind of heavy. Um, yeah, whatever. Um, I'll show them to you. Don't worry about it. Anyways, I have to make a decision. Do I do this now, or do I wait till it gets into the triple digit heat, which apparently it's going to be that way next week, the week after, and possibly the week after that. Um, brakes are very important. You kind of need them to stop. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace my brakes. Um, if you can already see the glistening on my head, I'm already starting to sweat because it's still about 95, 98 degrees in my garage. So this is not going to be fun. I am not going to film myself actually doing the brakes because it's just going to be a sweaty mess and I really don't want that online. So um, in any case, I just want to go uh, do a brief overview of the brakes um, just so you can see the rotors. I know some people always have a, a hard time deciding which kind of rotors they want. If they want to go with the slotted, the dimple, the drilled, the drilled and slotted. Um, there's all sorts of advantages and disadvantages of each one. Um, you can go to EBC's website. I can't remember what it is. I think it's ebc-usa.com. Something along that lines. I'll put it in the description. Um, they make great quality stuff and they have all sorts of different versions. Um, you will find with a lot of shitty Chinese um, or just even low quality brake rotors that are drilled, they tend to crack and they will um, warp on you. Um, so. You know, you'll see cars out there like Porsches, Corvettes, you know, higher end vehicles that um, have drilled brake rotors, but they spend money on um, engineering. The stuff you get over in China, not engineered very well. So you can't really trust the type of equipment that you get. So um, I would refrain from doing something like that. On a lower quality rotor, a lower cost rotor, um, you kind of get what you pay for. But that isn't one area that you really want to, to skimp out on spending the money. Now, granted, I say that, and I only spent for two rotors and brake pads, I only spent 188 bucks, which really is not that bad. Um, all the money is in the labor, but I spent about 80, 85 dollars per rotor. Um, I've had this exact setup on another vehicle and it worked wonders. These are specifically for SUV or light truck duty. Not heavy duty stuff, but light duty. Uh, comes with the green uh, EBC brake pads. They don't throw off a lot of dust, but they're, they're um, very robust and they'll last for a long time. Um, let me show you the rotor. And the nice part is, is these are slotted um, and they're, they have the dimples on them, but it tells you right on the box, right or left. You can't screw it up. Um, some people are like, well, do the veins run this way? Do they run that way? That all depends on the manufacturer, okay? Um, on this one, you can see very, very nice rotor. Um, it is slotted, so in the direction, this is on the right side. So as this is spinning, this is sweeping the gases away from the brake, uh, brake pad, okay? So this is the direction that this one wants to go. Um, you will see some people that will have the veins going in the opposite direction. Um, is that wrong? Not if the rotor is designed to do that. It just depends on the manufacturer. I know StopTech makes a few that go in the opposite direction. Um, you'll find those on Mustangs. I can't remember what other vehicles they have them on, but um, it all depends. It really, really depends. Um, definitely check with the specifications from the manufacturer of the brake um, that you actually get it from. Because if you look online, you're going to get a million different excuses, a million different ways to actually do stuff. And I'm not going to go back and forth with those people. 
I go buy what the manufacturer tells me. Now, if you get a manufacturer box that has an R and an L, it's pretty damn clear on which direction it's supposed to go. I've had a few people, especially on the old pair that I put and installed on my old truck, people would go, oh man, it's going the wrong way. And it's like, you know, just, just shut up. Um, but in any case, um, you can see here, it tells you it's premium street performance race, Jeep, truck, and SUV. So you know you're getting a fairly decent um, brake pad and it will actually tell you, it gives you the breakdown on the different brake pads and what the differences are between them. Um, if you wanna know, uh, let's see, this should be the 6000 series. Um, it says it is a uh, brake improvement grade, um, aramid fiber pad, um, and I'm probably saying that wrong, um, for reduced dusting on light truck and SUVs. Um, now the 7000 series green stuff pad says it's the lowest dust pad um, formulation in the EBC range for premium brake uh, upgrade applications on light truck and SUV. So if I wanted virtually no brake dust, I could pr probably would have went with the 7000 series. At the time that I bought this, that was not available. So um, that's what I'm doing. If you want to take a look at the actual brake pads, I would show them to you. Um, it comes in a nice little block. You get, um, oh, it smells good too. Now these are British made from what I believe, but you know, these are, these are nice looking pads, pretty thick, pretty heavy duty. It will tell you right on it what they're for. Um, and as, as per usual, you try not to put, touch the pad surface because you don't want to get the oils from your skin. If you're working, you know, working on your vehicle, you get dirt and grease and you rub it on there. It's, uh, could potentially cause, um, a hot area to form and once you're trying to break in the brake pads on your rotor it can potentially warp your rotor and that would suck especially if you just bought brand new rotors like I did um, you will also get um, some caliper lube uh, apply sparingly to slider pins and rubber bellows be I'm sorry rubber bellow pads and slider rails on which disc pad slides taking care not to contaminate the front of the brake pads, which can cause loss of brake effect. Like I said, don't put this shit on this side. You're going to put it a little bit back on that side. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I don't, like I said, I'm not going to do a video on me actually doing the process because I don't want to scare you with my glistening sweat just going to drip down my face and you're going to be like, God, that's scary. I don't want to do that to you. So. I will leave you at this. Um, look out for another video. I bought the truck height extenders for my quick jack. I will be doing another video on that. Um, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments. Hello, don't forget to subscribe or you can hit me at Twitter at Tech for Hire online.